You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, the young gunslinger Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, they match up with Tom Brady in the New England Patriots. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's... All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Carry down for Rex Burkhead. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. As the offensive starters pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Real far, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. The rushing numbers for Burke had last week. 10 carries, 95 yards. And as we discovered and talked with the coaching staff prior to the game, going up against a team that struggled against the run, has only emboldened them to run the football more. I expect 40 to 50 carries in this game. Now Brady throwing on second down. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Play 20! Play 20! Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now Brady leads to Burkhead on the draw. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. It's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. 
other teams I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Goskowski with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Rams will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Here we go now. Three. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Remember, the Chiefs and Pats met in the season opener last year, and it was the Chiefs that came in and shocked the defending champs, 42-27 behind four Alex Smith touchdowns. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017, and I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Mahomes to the former Rams, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Back now with Charles Davis operating Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They'll need to convert a third and seven, though, to start things out. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. He sets to fire Dean. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. They go play action here on first down. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if I'm going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, mm. maybe a back, someone to help Three. assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Three, yeah, fortunately three, for him, 90. got a couple more downs to play with. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. Well, they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Mahomes 
And oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. That one goes for 24 yards. So a big pickup that time, and Charles, defending AFC Player of the Week, maybe bucking towards another award this week. Yeah, and they say they don't really care about the individual awards. You and I both know they do. it means a lot to them. It means respect around the league. If he's able to show those kind of hands all game long, he can win a second one. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Brady's got his guys first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Throwing on first down is Brady. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Going for it all. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Philip Dorsett, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. Extra point good by Gaskowski, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And that'll get them to first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. He'll leave it for Hunt complete. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yard. And terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Well, he did. Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. 
And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Kansas City touchdown! The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. He was looking for Gronk that time. I'm not sure if there's been a better tandem than Brady to Gronk for the last half decade. So it can be a surprise when they don't hook up and a downright shock when a ball is intercepted. But that is great instincts here defensively to come away with the football. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Four down, four down. Here we go now. Three, Working from the gun, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Mahomes to throw once more. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And Butker able to put this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and 10. 20. Brady's going to give this one to Burkhead. So we've reached halftime. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. <laughs> bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three they're down here but very much in this game what, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this of intermission typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in. Rush coming, and he's 
taken down. Kyle Van Noy. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Give them 11 yards that time on the return. And the Patriots take over. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Anthony Hitchens coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. He's got a man complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. From the gun, it's Brady. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. So the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. On third and long, it's Brady. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Philip Dorsett, his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots add on to their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Goskowski the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now but it's a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And that goes for a gain of 31. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Back now in Foxborough. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Mahomes now on first down. He's got the hookup with Conley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Mahomes now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now it's Mahomes again. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. False start, offense. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. And again, it's Mahomes. And the incompletion there, so that breaks a string of five straight hookups. It also leads to a fourth down. The safety, Patrick Chung, got a hand in, knocked it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And the kick by Butker is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back. Preferably a takeaway. And he will be marked out right there at the 20 yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Brady will try again on second down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before. 
before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Brady now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain of 39 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense, but in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass, Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Now Brady again. Able to, and this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Goskowski with the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Here we go now. Green, 39. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. The Connolly's got it over the middle. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. On second down, here's Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down at the 43. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Caught here by Conley. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. 
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of six there on first. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And he completes it to Hunt. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first Outside. down. Defense. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. Green, they did it well, green, and it works for them. On first down, Mahomes. That's complete right around the eight. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other Move targets 45. aren't open. Move 45. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Mahomes to throw once more. His pass caught at the four. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, this was a good one. Excitement all the way to the end. You had the points, and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It didn't in this case, and they walk off.